It's English vocabulary time, and today we're going to learn about vocabulary for your iPhone. So, some of this is relevant to any phone, not just to iPhone, um, but I'm using iPhone because this is what I have uh, available to use. Okay, so let's just start with one thing. This little button right here is the power button, okay? So you use this to turn your phone on and off, okay? Then this is the home button. So you press home to unlock your phone. Then on this side, you have the adjustment for volume, okay? And this turns your sound on and off. Right now my sound is off. Let's look in the settings. Okay, the settings. First we're going to talk about Wi-Fi. Okay, your Wi-Fi is your wireless connection. And that connects you to the internet without a cord or a wire. Okay, without something like this. Okay, this is like a cord. Bluetooth is what connects you to other devices, like if you're in your car and you want to talk on your phone, but you don't want to hold your phone, you use Bluetooth to connect it to your uh, stereo system in your car, and um, that connects you wirelessly to be able to speak with somebody without touching your phone. You can also use um, Bluetooth to... Um, like share things so I use Bluetooth to connect to my computer um, from my phone and then I can share videos. Next is um, cellular, cellular data um, that is used for your payment plan um, it lets you know how much data you use when you're um, using the internet um, and then you let your provider your phone company, your provider, know how much um, data you will use and that's what you pay for and then here you keep track of it. And each application uses a different amount of data. Next is keyboard. So for my keyboards I have four different keyboards. I have four different keyboards. Okay, I I just put a Chinese one on there because I'm trying to learn. But one I wanted to talk to you guys about was the emoji. When you're typing, you click on the little globe icon and the different emojis come up. I mean different keyboards. The different keyboards come up. And then here's the emojis. Okay, these are all the different little facial things and, you know, the little pictures that you can use. This type of thing, these are called icons. And if you updated your iPhone, you might have GIFs now. These are GIFs, the little moving videos. And these are now part of iPhone. You can, like, send these to people via text message. Another thing with the keyboard this little arrow right here lets you do um, shift or caps lock so if you just want to do one capital letter it should be black so there's your capital letter and then you see the arrow changes and now it's not black anymore and then if you want to keep it capital you have to double click so you go and now you see it's black with a little line under it and every letter you type will be capital Okay, this is the, so I'll type, and then if I want to erase, I do that little arrow with the X, that's backspace. And then um, I type something, and if I want to do another line, I click return, which is like enter, and it goes down to another line. So those are just some basic vocabulary words for you guys to use. Really, it's just for you to practice different types of English. It's not for iPhone. I'm not promoting iPhone. I'm just um, trying to teach you different vocabulary using your phone 
because since this is such a technological world, I thought it'd be valuable for you guys to have a little lesson on that. So let me know what other vocabulary you would like to use. Please be specific. For example, if you want to learn vocabulary related to weather, if you want to learn vocabulary related to culture, if you want to like say what kind of culture, you know, is it American culture you want to learn about? Um, or a holiday, do you want to learn vocabulary related to the airport? So be specific. When you tell me I want to learn vocabulary, there is a huge broad amount that I could choose from and I don't know what it is that your needs are. So please share your needs for what type of vocabulary you want in the comments. Alright? And that's it for today. Until next time. Bye. Peace.